Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Taylor Divine's channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back, guys. So this is your Wednesday message, which is the 12th, I believe. So I have a great message for you guys. So I'm just going to get started. So I've had a little bit of time to sit back and kind of get a feel of what the message is, what's coming through, what am I picking up? So I kind of feel like some of you are on some type of pathway is what I want to call it. Some type of journey. And the reason I say that is because the first two cards coming up says end path C, which is reflect and redirect your energy and unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. But if you notice in these two cards, and, and that's one of the things that really gravitated me towards this, is that both of these cards are representing some type of um, trail or pathway. So I feel like what's happening is that you have embarked on some type of journey or embarked on some type of pathway or, you know, you're, you're starting some type of new adventure. Uh, a new beginning of some sort could also be what's going on with some of you. And, you know, some of you are at the, like the beginning stages where you don't necessarily feel, necessarily feel like things are really going to work out or they're going to pan out or, you know, you seem to be going around in circles or not achieving anything or you can't get to the end or, you know, it's just some of you also, I feel like you've been putting your heart into soul into something, but you're not seeing the results of it. And, and what spirit is really trying to say today is that know that even though you may not be where you want to be, you are today exactly where you need to be. Okay. So the unknown territory card is what that stands for. So it says that, you know, you might not, because this to me represents like, coming out of winter or starting winter like this just looks like a winter card to me so i don't know if that means like things aren't going to take off until the winter months again or um even this could even be like nighttime or fall or something something on the lens of that but i feel like this is you at the starting point of something um tell yourself that even though things may not be exactly as you would like them you are better off now because of the choices that you have made back then. So you could be in a point right now where spirit is saying you might be at the beginning stages of something, but once you get to where you're going, you're going to realize why you had to start the way you started. Okay. So you may feel like you've been giving something your all again, but it's just not enough. What? Now do you need scissors? Well, go look downstairs. Mommy's recording. There's some downstairs. Um, but Spirit is saying, like, it's during your toughest moments and your toughest times that you're going to really see what it is you need to see. Okay? So this unknown territory, you are walking, you're embarking, you're walking into your next frame or your next level, and it feels kind of uncomfortable because change is uncomfortable change is scary right so allow yourself to feel whatever this is today when you are embarking or when you're agreeing or when you're committing to something just realize that that uncomfortable feeling um this is going to help you grow and that's what i'm seeing is that once you get through whatever uncomfortable feeling this is as we move into the end pass a this says you need to reflect and redirect your energy. So you go from like a really foggy, not sure, being very uncertain, being very scared of change to coming into some type of light, to coming into some type of, you know, um, just, just more shiny. Like I feel like you, it's kind of like I always say, when you go and you start walking through that tunnel and that tunnel is pitch black and you don't know where you're going, but you know you have to continue to walk through that tunnel. And when you get out of that tunnel, you see that rainbow, you see that light. 
some of you are facing a tunnel right now. Some of you are facing some heavy choices and heavy decisions, but it's like you have to make these choices and decisions for yourself today. You have to be in a place of saying to yourself, I have to get myself from point A to point C because at the end of the day, I have to be walking my own pathway, you know, choosing my own direction. So I feel like you are going to have roadblocks. You're going to have obstacles. There is going to be a wall that you're going to have to climb over because I feel like this wall is blocking my pathway. But the reason it's blocking my pathway is because sometimes when you are walking one direction because you think that's all you are worthy of or all you have to offer the world, Spirit says, like, we're going to put this wall up because we want you to understand that this is just one roadblock and many things that you're going to, you know, endure in your life. So whenever you hit this roadblock that's about to come up, Spirit says, redirect your energy, reflect on what it is you learned up until this far, but do not give up. Do not turn away and just, and just give up entirely because there's just so much more else out there. So I have the owl coming up. I have a robin coming up and I have a scroll coming up. So these are very prominent. I feel like these are three spirit, anim spirit animals that are definitely coming through. So if you relate to those or if you have been seeing those, then this message is definitely for you. But before I, like, I, I close this um, video, I just feel like do not give up. Okay, when, when you hit that roadblock or you hit some type of stall or you feel like, you know, you're not getting the recognition that you feel like you deserve or, you know, you're just not where you want to be. It's, it's taking that moment and taking that step back to reflect and say, am I doing the work that that I need to be doing? Am I, am I putting my all into this? Am I focused? Am I, you know, producing what I need to produce? Am I you know, again, putting that, like, I feel like putting the effort is to the big thing. If you want results, then it's about effort, right? So it's just about moving forward with whatever this, um, whatever this challenge is, whatever this difficulty is, whatever this, you know, new pathway or new beginning it is for some of you, it's just about knowing that you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. You can move forward. You are going to be your biggest blockage right now. You have to go within and say, you know what? Maybe I haven't always done things the right way. Maybe I'm the type of person that always does things the hard way. Maybe I'm the type of person that always gives my heart out more than, you know, I get love back in return. But Spirit says like, you right now, you are a reflection of you, right? So how others are perceiving you right now is none of your damn business. How you perceive yourself is everything. So whatever this roadblock, whatever this obstacle, do not give up, okay? Find a way to redirect your energy. Find a way to say, okay, I'm going to sit here and wait for the sign. I'm going to sit here and wait for something to come through because I know that the reason I can't go through this wall is because it's not meant for me right now. So that's the thing. And I always say that with the closed doors too. If you are standing in front of a, a, a door and you've been standing in front of that door waiting for it to open or waiting for an opportunity and you're noticing it's not opening, it's because God has chosen to close that door on you because one, it's not for you. Two, there's something better else out there for you. And three, you know, it's about recognition for me. It's about, you know, are you learning the lessons you need to learn? You know, and, and that's it. The last card says grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. When you reach that end of that road, you will experience the abundance and blessings and joy and love and fulfillment it is that you are seeking. But you have to follow the road. You have to follow your true north. You have to follow the direction in which your heart is telling you you need to go. And that's not always easy, right? Sometimes we we want to take shortcuts or, you know, we, we want to follow the life of other people or, you know, we want to do things the way that other people are doing it. And it's kind of like Spirit is saying, you know, you can try and do it that way, but it's not necessarily going to give you the same results that you would like. So... The moral of your reading today, guys, is just knowing that sometimes we feel stuck in our lives. Sometimes we feel like, you know, where's the way out? And Spirit's just saying, like, the way out right now is 
you choosing to make the changes, you choosing to choose the right direction for you, understanding that whatever territory that feels uncomfortable right now is, is what's making you because you are today exactly where you need to be. And it's about being grateful and being and having gratitude, having gratitude that through these dark moments, you are going to become everything that you're supposed to become. All right. So love and light guys. And I will talk to you soon.